Hi everyone, Reverend Dominic here again, and welcome back to this series on Holy Week, where I'm sharing a little bit about each of the days of Holy Week and their importance for our Christian journey and uh, our walk toward Easter and our Christian faith uh, in general. If you haven't seen the first installment, you can go back to the posting before this one where we catch up on the first three days of Holy Week, uh, starting with, of course, uh, Holy Sunday, which is uh, Palm Sunday and remembering Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And Holy Monday, where we remember uh, Jesus overturning the tables of the money changers in the temple courtyard. And Holy Tuesday, where a number of things happen on, on that day, uh, including Jesus having some heated debates with uh, religious authorities about uh, uh, his own ministry and the authority of his ministry. Who is he to do uh, what he does? We also remember uh, Judas meeting with the Sanhedrin and agreeing to betray Jesus uh, for payment. And also Jesus on the Mount of Olives, uh, where he talks about uh, the end times and the destruction of the temple and his death, the second coming. And maybe it's because of all of those events and activities during the first three days of Holy Week uh, that today, Holy Wednesday, tradition says that pretty much nothing happened. Uh, tradition says that on Holy Wednesday, Jesus and his disciples stayed where they were, which was in Bethany at the home of Mary and Martha and Lazarus, Lazarus being the one he raised from the dead. Now, on the one hand, that can seem like Holy Wednesday is kind of a non-day, right? Because nothing happened. But on the other hand, maybe it's the key day of all of Holy Week, really, when you think about it. Because on this day, Jesus rested and reflected and prepared for what was to come. And that's hardly nothing. We tend to think that Times of rest and reflection are times when we're, we aren't doing anything, right? And that's just not true. We tend to think that unless we're accomplishing something or producing something, we aren't doing anything. But if we take Holy Wednesday seriously, it becomes a day of the soul. It becomes a day of contemplation and devotion and reflection on the very heart of Lent and on the very heart of who we are as disciples of Jesus Christ and as children of God, and that's not nothing. So today, I hope you spend some time with Jesus in Bethany, not doing nothing, but doing the important work of the soul, which is, in the end, everything. So until tomorrow, Holy Thursday, I do wish you all the best.